So let's say you need to draw some conduits. It's becoming more and more prevalent, prevalent these days to have to model conduits inside of your model because people need to coordinate with it, especially if you're running like four inch or five inch conduits, um, either above ground or in duct bank. So for my instance, I need to show these duct bank underground. And if you look over here, I have a detail showing it's a two by two duct bank of four inch conduit. To model this, I want to model the bottom left most conduit first. And then when I use the, um, when I use the parallel conduit tool, it'll actually fill in the other three in the upper and to the right of that. So th that's the important bit. Just make sure you draw the bottom right one first. And I guess to figure out depth, I would take, let's say, this top of this duct bank needs to be 36 inches plus another three, seven, 10, so 46 inches. Top of the conduit is 46 inches. I go over here to my site plan. So I'm gonna draw a conduit, middle uh, top elevation. Yeah, let's do top elevation, what did I say, 46 inches? Okay, so three foot 10. I'm gonna draw from here to there and draw my horizontal run. So there you go, got my horizontal run. Now I take a section and I'm gonna bring this up to grade. So here I believe grade is, oh, whoops. <laughs> I forgot to put negative, okay. So let's click on this, click on this and um, top elevation, I'm just gonna put a negative in front of it. There we go, now it's below grade, okay. So now I'm gonna bring it up to grade, which I believe was right here to this level. And there you go. Oh, I forgot the other side. Let's grab, let's grab this elevation, go over here and let's rotate it. So I, I always do my vertical runs in section view and my horizontal run in plan view. So we're back here in the section view and oh, I lost track of which one it is. I want to raise this one. So, okay, here it is. So let's take this and bring it up to the bottom of the equipment. And there you have it. So now if you look in 3D view, you can get, there's my, there's my conduit run. Come on, there we go. Yeah, you can see that run from switch gear all the way to, um, well, the flammable building storage that it's not quite shown yet. So now that we're over here in, in plan view, you can see there's a riser there, horizontal and a riser here. Now, my favorite way of doing the other parallel conduits is actually to do it in uh, 3D view because it gives me a really good interpretation of how it's gonna look when it's finished. So let's go over to 3D view and let's take a, let's take this position right here. So now that I've drawn the one conduit, remember this is this is the bottom left most conduit. I want the paralleling tool to draw the other three for me. So if I go over here to uh, systems under parallel conduits, over here it's gonna be two conduits by two conduits with um, I believe it was seven inches in between. So it's, it's uh, center to center. I always remember to do that. Not just the middle, you have to do center to center of the uh, conduits. So here it's yeah, it's a four inch with a three inch gap, so that would be seven inch on center. So let's do parallel conduit, seven inch. And then if you hover over this conduit, you'll have to hit tab once. You can see that it selects all the entire run. So what that does is that when you click to use the minimum bend radius, yeah, when you click to enable that feature to run, it'll take the entire run. Now let's say, let's say you did that and you didn't click or you didn't hit tab, you're just gonna get four conduits in one little section. It's not gonna take the bends, it's not gonna follow the whole run. So let's go ahead and hit tab, use the minimum bend, and bingo. So there is my entire run. You can see I have a two by two duct bank. It even stubs up for me. It goes, stubs up in both directions. And of course the top one Top elevation, three foot three. So that's perfect. That's, in, that's including um, that three inch of concrete that I want. So as long as you build, as long as you run your bottom left most conduit first, 
do the entire run. Do, do the drop, the horizontal, and the riser. Then use your paralleling tool to be able to select the entire run and then just uh, set your offsets to be on center. So mine was seven inches on center, left and, you know, horizontal and vertical. Then once you hit OK, you can pick the entire run. It'll just bang out the entire duck bank for you. So this is a great way to help coordinate infield. Um, your details are actually modeled now so that if somebody comes through with another duct bank for some reason, or if this is like in the ceiling with duct worked, then you guys can coordinate that. All right. So good luck with that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.